So, Ray, uh, not a bad qualifying time, a uh, high 116. How's the car travelling? Yeah, uh, the car's great. Uh, it's great to get um, you know pole position. We're running a different diff ratio this weekend just to try and see whether it, it makes us better or worse in, uh, in overall lap times. What well, seems to be working for you, pipped uh, Damien Milano at the uh, literally the 11th hour of uh, qualifying there. Yeah, look, it was pretty busy out there. I think there was, you know, high 30s, if not 40 odd cars out there. So it was difficult to get clear laps for everyone. And uh, but um, at this point, yeah, I'm happy with the decision we made. Now we haven't seen you for a little while. You've been busy racing in other states. Um, how many races are you back for this time? Yes, um, we certainly have done a few uh, races in other states, but um, now there's a couple or three, I think, in Victorian state rounds I want to finish uh, the year off with. Fantastic. Well, mate, good luck for the rest of the weekend and uh, keep this up. We'll be chatting with you at the end of the weekend. Cheers. Thank you. Jason, uh, third, third day in qualifying. Right, Peter. Um, don't have the speed of Damien and Ray, but that's OK. It's a worn-out old Commodore. But um, no, we're, we're pretty happy with that. We didn't get a really good lap in, um, so we're probably a second off our PB yet. So we, yeah, look, we'll try to just hold third, I think, for the weekend. If we can do that and the car keeps running, then that'll be a great result for us. We yeah, have a few niggly issues uh, at the last round here. Um, straightened all those things out? Yeah, yeah. Now, look, look, it's been really reliable the last two rounds, and uh, we feel we deserve that because it's been a bit of a pain um, over the last couple of years but um, yeah last round after that we just put brake pads in it and took, checked it over and really did nothing else so that's why you want it isn't it? Yeah it certainly is. Well, mate uh, good luck for the rest of the weekend and uh, certainly be good to see you hold third uh, overall for the weekend. Yeah no thanks Peter and uh, thanks to all the good sponsors we have. We're a lucky group. Thanks. Attention. So, Coxie, uh, not going too bad this weekend, but, uh, mate, you've got to tell me about this uh, lifting of the inside front when you go through corners, saving tyre wear or something. Yeah, I took a leap out of uh, Andrew Rhodes Anderson's uh, setup, suspension setup, and, uh, yeah, we've got a three-legged car now. It likes to lift wheels everywhere. Uh, lucky there's no trees around. Uh, but, no, it's, it's going really good. We just need a little tighten the rear end up a bit. It's just a bit soft and it's just lifting the wheels off the ground. So, But, yeah, it's good fun. We had an awesome race with uh, Kane and also Rob Warren on the BMW. We an absolute ball of time out there. Car was going good. No one all over me and we managed to, I think, finish fourth, I think. So that was pretty good. Uh, so Paul's Building Consultants, uh, VK, is going really good this weekend so far. Um, so hopefully we can continue. Um, big shout out to Kelvin Twist. Hang in there, mate. We're all thinking of you and hoping that things go well for you, mate. So just hold on and keep going, mate. Love you. Phil, the uh, car's looking pretty good out there. Obviously running pretty reasonably well this weekend. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's happy it was in May. In May, as you know, we tied it for uh, all pressure shoes, but had the motor out, did a few changes. And, always keep saying no to those dry sumps and mechanics and go, let's try and make it work. So it, it's better there, but we've got, we've got brake issues this now. But other from that, happy to be back and have a shot. No, 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 it's good, it's good to see you. Oh, oh, you're uh, doing reasonably well out there. I think you qualified about fourth or fifth. Yeah, that was a little surprise. Um, so it's not, not handling for me that great. I'll need to do some changes with these new 50s. I've been on the floor. And, uh, but, uh, just, just wrapped around. Fourth, I thought, wow, geez, you know, this is all right. 
I'm happy with that. No, fantastic. Well, mate, good luck for the rest of the weekend and um, just try and maintain that position now. Yeah, thanks a lot. I just want to take, say thanks to those sponsors again, New Line and so on, and Kelvin Twist. And we're always thinking of you. It's been a great, great campaign with the club. So all the best, Kel, and wish you well. Robert Wilson, uh, race one down, going reasonably well this weekend. Yeah. Look, it, it's it's better than what it has been. Uh, it can still be improved. I'm going to get a little bit more tuning on it. But um, the the important thing is I've finished the race, and that's <laughs> that's what I've been looking at. Oh, I mean, it is a bit cooler today. The track's cooler than that. Um, I hope it get a little get a little bit better times than what I have got because I'm trying to get close to the record for the class. And uh, and I did a couple of years ago here. So hopefully tomorrow, and I can sort of get there. Maybe the driver's going to be fine. But no, the car has been all right. So we'll race two tomorrow. That's normally where everyone uh, does their, their best times for the we weekend. So that's coming up. But uh, a little bit more reliable this weekend. No, no reliability well, issues? Uh, there is, like I say, a, a few tuning problems. But there's sort of things you can overcome for the weekend. So this is over, it can still work all right. But after Phillip Island earlier in the year, uh, it broke a crankshaft. So it's another block and another crank. And hopefully it's all screwed together right this time. I think I had um, oil problems. So, and, uh, yeah, hope we've sort of fixed it. Good luck for the rest of the weekend. Thanks, Peter, and thanks to all the sponsors. Too. And, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's now that I've heard about Kelvin too, which is a shame because I think he'll be sorely missed at the club for all the things that he's, he's done. He was one of the first that actually I spoke to at the club when I first joined in 2002 and quite helpful, and he's always been that sort of way. And I think the club will definitely miss him and all the individuals too. So all the best, Kelvin, and hopefully you... you you look after yourself. So Ralph, uh, two races down, mate, but you've been a bit of a struggle this weekend. Yeah, look, had a great race in um, race one. Um, we did the fastest ever time, got it down to a 23 and um, bought it home in the 10th, so it's a fairly solid result, I'm happy with it. Um, but about three quarters away through, just noticed every time coming to the third, um, would make a bit of a crunch, so I thought, oh, okay, we've got a bit of a problem with the box here, maybe a synchro ring. Um, we decided today we would just try and drive around it rather than changing the gearbox. Um, but unfortunately, I think about third lap, um, coming up through turn eight, went to go back to second and uh, no gear. So I think it's broken a fork or something's wrong in the box. So unfortunately, we're out. Bit of a buggy. You were, you were doing reasonably well up until now. Yeah, look, just having some great battles with David Bone. Um, he got past me fairly early, so kept on him and got past him. Um, held Chris Materia up for quite a few laps. Unfortunately, not enough, but uh, well, it was having a great run and um, the car was feeling great. It's just unfortunately, um, it was the gearbox's turn to decide it had enough. Make it to the island, did it? Oh, yeah, without a doubt, yeah. We've already got another replacement gearbox ready to go. Um, so we'll whack that one in and we'll come back to the island and hopefully come back a bit stronger. And um, look, just also too, uh, thanks to the sponsors, New Line Homes, Educational Living, uh, the VACC, um, they all do a great job, and of course Yokohama. Uh, without you guys here, it's tough to make things um, harder, so thanks to the sponsors. And also side too, um, Kelvin, you're in our thoughts, mate, we're thinking of you, and um, yeah, mate, we just wish you all the best. Thank you.
Scott Wilson, Mr Gearbox, how's it going? <laughs> uh, I've had better weekends, Pete. It's, uh, it's been one that I can forget about, that's for sure. Well, uh, this year you, you've certainly been having some real Gearbox gremlins. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on. Look, not quite sure. Um, we got to qualifying um, yesterday and, and broke the gearbox in the first lap. Um, very lucky to have Andy and, and Gary, Andrew Rhodes Anderson and Gary Roberts to um, lend me their spare box and uh, we went round to um, Andrew's factory and fitted a new one. Unfortunately, I've done second gear in that one as well today in the first race. So, um, yeah, it's not a, it has been a good weekend. Yeah, they told you it was unbreakable. The unbreakable gearbox I have broken, so apparently I'm a little hard on my equipment. <laughs> Getting a bit of a reputation, Scott. One that I don't want, that's for sure. <laughs> Well, mate, uh, it's certainly been a good weekend. Shame you won't be finishing. Make it back to the island. Yeah, look, um, we should be back to the island. I mean, the island's a fair way away. Um, yeah, we'll get all this gearbox sorted. We'll try and do some sprints and try and work out what's going on. But, yeah, look, we'll, we'll be back for the next round. So, um, so look, you know, I just want to um, thank all my sponsors. Um, I've got a new sponsor on board, 123 Plumbing. They've been fantastic this weekend. But um, And also the club sponsors, VACC, uh, New Line Homes, um, Educational Living, DAL Photography and Design. Um, you know, just without them we can't do it and uh, I just want to put a big cheerio to Calvin um, mate, we're all thinking about you and I uh, hope you get well soon Simon, uh, two races down, how's it travelling so far? Oh, it's good to finish one uh, it's good to finish one, we had a DNF uh, yesterday through a belt and took out my crank trigger but uh, back in the game and finished one today so it felt good and enjoyed the racing so it went about it a bit smooth and didn't do anything too desperate and, yeah, got up to 13th from the rear of grid so that was pretty pleasing really so just trying to collect a couple of points so uh, the car's been reasonably reliable for you this year. Yeah, I've been really happy with it. Had a couple of head gasket issues at uh, Phillip Island, but I had stripped third gear off, off the, uh, the counter, counter shaft, trying to put too much boost into it last, last race here. But I uh, wound it back a bit since then. I've found its limits. So yeah, but generally it's been fantastic, which has been great for me to get some seat time. And uh, obviously going to compete uh, the rest of the season. Phillip Island, the two rounds coming up, Phillip Island. Yeah, certainly the championship round. Um, I'm not sure if the budget is focused on the uh, Isle of Magic. Um, it depends on whether I, whether I go up to Sydney or to New South Wales for the Nationals. And, and that's what, what I'd love to get up there and, and, um, and, and mix it with the quick, quickest of the other um, under two litre cars. Uh, just like to thank the, the sponsors that really help out with the Victorian Championship. Uh, you've got New Line Homes, DLL Photography, uh, Education Living. Yeah, the VACC, they're, they're a huge contr contributor this year and um, is a major sponsor. Uh, and, and yeah, without them it wouldn't happen and it's great to have them on board. And, and also, just on a more personal note, I'd like to say uh, a, a big hello and we're all thinking of you, uh, Kelvin. And um, yeah, keep the spirits up and uh, it's, uh, yeah, we're thinking of you, mate. Andrew, um, second round for the club, but first ever run at Sandown. How are you finding it? Uh, a lot, uh, a lot harder than I would have expected. The uh, the starts are a great fun time, but pretty nerve wracking for a newbie. But uh, getting used to it. BMW, how's it uh, running this weekend? It, it runs a lot better than I do. So uh, I'm in the fortunate position of having a lot more potential from the car than what I have at the moment. So. Uh, I reckon another year or so I might be more competitive, but it's a, a long way to go yet. What did you race before the uh, before the, you joined this category? Uh, I raced my, my car on the road a little bit too much, and that's about it. So, uh, so I haven't done any racing before uh, coming here. Oh, well, good luck with the development. One more race to go today, so uh, best of luck with it. Thanks very much. And I think I'd also like to mention that you know, how happy we all are that the support of the ACC and New Line and uh, Yokohama and. and uh, the, the other sponsors and also Kelvin Twist you're a bit of a legend in this uh, in this group um, all the best to you and we're all thinking of you this weekend
Gary, uh, Sandy, another race weekend at Sandown. Certainly uh, not too bad a weekend weather-wise. No, the weather was on our side for a change and uh, uh, not, a, not a hint of any water, wind or anything. So realistically, this time of year, it was a perfect, perfect day. And great to see some um, full green flag races. Yeah, it's, uh, there's been a little bit of a, a run of uh, pace cars in the last couple of rounds, but this time it was all racing. The world goes round with money, and, uh, and money comes with sponsors, and sponsors, VACC, we've got to, ha we've got to thank. Uh, New Line Homes, uh, we've got to thank them. Um, Educational Living, uh, a thank you to Lisa and their crew, uh, and DDL Photography and Design also do a marvellous job with their website. And, uh, and the one thing we really would like to uh, emphasize on this, um, this this weekend is uh, Calvin Twist. He's not doing so well. Um, so all the cars in the category um, have got his uh, uh, sticker on the car for this round. And um, he's been instrumental to the, to the category, certainly to uh, Victoria. Uh, back in the early, late nine, oh, late nine 90s, uh, the club was in dire straits, and uh, Calvin uh, got things happening uh, in, with the introduction of sponsors and just general management of the of the uh, class, and and uh, lifted the profile. And uh, we've got a big thank you to you, Calvin. Thank you. Sandro, uh, two races down, race three not far away, but uh, race two, a little bit of a whoopsie coming down onto uh, Dandenong Road there. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Um, yeah, I was uh, passing a couple of cars coming up the back straight and uh, passed them on the left and then I moved, got past them and moved over to the right to uh, you know, get the line of the corner at the top of the, uh, top of the straight. And um, yeah, sort of come into the brake marker a bit too late, about 50 metres too far and yeah, couldn't wash the speed off and around she went so not not the uh, the best place I wanted to be able to do it wanted to do it so but you know got out of it pretty much pretty well uh, uh, unscathed you know and uh, it, just superficial damage so a couple of plastic bars and that's about it so we'll be back out there for race three so we well, certainly were very lucky like you said very minimal damage could have been a lot worse uh, but you've got to watch them breaking markers, mate. Sorry? You've got to watch them breaking Yeah, certainly do. They come up on you pretty quick. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, but, um, yeah, you know, we're, we're sort of, we're battling with grip on the car. We have been all weekend. And um, I'm, I'm, because I'm running around on 48s at the moment, and everyone else is running around on 50, so I have just don't have the grip that everyone else has got. So, um, yeah, but uh, that's just, we just have to work around it and um, yeah, do what we can with the car and, on so obviously mechanically the car's running reasonably well because you've been at the track in the past uh, helping everyone else out and um, this is pretty pretty much your first round back I think uh, or first couple of rounds back well this is my first round actually I did OLT on Friday and this, this is my first first competition round that I've ever done you know so um, previous to that I've done uh, sprint events in the last two years um, uh, but mainly that's at Phillip Island, so really uh, this is my first time here at Sandown and uh, yeah, I'm still getting used to the track, you know, so, so um, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens on the third race. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, I'll, look, I'd just like to thank the sponsor, the club sponsors, um, New Line Homes, uh, Educational Living, DL Photography, um, Yokohama Tyres, and also um, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Fellow Technologies and True Line Kitchens, and also just a big hello to uh, Calvin Twist, uh, just so now we're all thinking of him, I hope all goes well.
So, Paul, um, you've joined the IP category, had a reasonable run today, but a few little issues. Tell us about it. Yeah, um, we started the weekend. I, uh, everything was good. Went out to qualify, and I had a, some sort of an electrical gremlin. We don't know what exactly what it was. Uh, we changed plugs, changed coil pack, changed uh, leads, and it went away. But I went out for the first race, and I sort of thought, well, we'll see what happens because I didn't qualify. So they started me rear and uh, launched off the start, and everything was great. So I've made up uh, 13 spots in that race, and that was awesome fun. Really good. Now, awesome. Now, you've come from saloon cars, run this car for a couple of years in uh, the saloon car category? Yeah, basically, yeah. Had a, had a year and a half or so in saloon cars. Um, I changed over to IP. Saloon cars are great fun and a really good learning class. But I sort of uh, I found that um, my, my main objective is I want to go to Bathurst. So that's has got bucket list to do. So uh, I changed over to saloon to, to this IP class. And also one of the mates is in here, Wayne, Wayne Twist Race here as well. So I'll give it a go. And it's really good, really good fun and a really good group of bikes. Yeah, look, uh, with, with Calvin, I've met Calvin a few times, so I'm a good mates with Wayne, his brother. And uh, from what I hear, he's like he's an awesome bloke from when I've met him. But from what he's done for the class, he's, he's been really cool. So, Well, he's certainly a stalwart for this club. Uh, he's been here for a long time and he's helped to develop the club as we know it today. Mm, yeah, and that's what I hear. Like, like I said, I haven't I haven't been in the class when he was actually racing. I think he did a couple of races last year when I was in saloon cars. But from what I hear, he's been a real a real, a real, real effort for the club and he's there. And at the times I've been here, he's a nice bloke, hell of a nice bloke. And it's just, look, it's terrible to, to, hear, to hear what's going on, but it's uh, all the best to him. So... Hopefully, hopefully it goes well. So, so Damien, a bit of a, an up and down weekend, a little bit of uh, mechanical issues you've had to deal with, but uh, race three, it was right down to the line with uh, you and Ray. Yeah, well, I didn't actually know that at the time. I, uh, I thought he was coming up to lap me and it actually put me off when I saw his lights coming, so yeah, probably a bit of a mistake on my part, but anyway, good luck to you. Get you. Yeah, well, very, very, very lucky one. But uh, tell us about the mechanical issues earlier in the weekend. Broke a half shaft yeah, or something? Yeah, the rear half shaft in um, in um, in the rear end. So, yeah, we uh, replaced that and didn't give us any trouble, luckily, for the rest of the weekend. So, did that one from the rear to the field. So, big field this weekend. So, had to push through and do the best we could. Well, I noticed in race two after uh, you did the repairs, the first few laps were a little bit ginger, making sure everything was right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, no, and there's plenty of traffic to negotiate, whatever. So, but no, everything was all, all right. So we, we, um, yeah, we were happy how it turned out. That was good. Getting up near the front, so we had something to work with in the last race. Yep, and uh, I'd just like to thank all the club sponsors and send a cheer out to Kelvin uh, Twist and wish him all the best. Thank you. So, Jase, uh, three races down, mate. Um, almost a clean sweep for second spot, but still got second for the weekend. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, we tried to hang on to Damien, but um, he just got bigger brakes and a bit quicker through the turns than me, but we've still got the straight line speed. So, the car went really well. It's been really reliable this year, so it's been a lot of hard work, but it's good to be able to just put in the trailer and go home. Yeah, well, it's, sort of, it's certainly been a little while since you've done that, but uh, that, that, that finish at race three was an absolute cracker. Ray came from nowhere after his drive-through to uh, just pip you and Damien at the post. Yeah, I, was, I got a bit confused, to be honest. I thought, oh, surely he's not whapping us as well, and didn't really twig till after the finishing line that, oh, he must have been uh, had a penalty. So, anyway, look, it's a result that I expected to have, and, yeah, the car's all in one bit, pretty much ready for the island as it is, so we'll uh, look forward to that. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And, uh, look, I'd just like to wish um, Calvin Twist and his family all the best, and, uh, yeah, I think all the club's you know, um, done a terrific job acknowledging um, his uh, challenges and um, good luck. So Ray, uh, race three races down, clean sweep, but it almost wasn't going to be. Tell us about the drive-through. Ah, uh, yeah. Look, I, I came round and I saw a black flag and I thought that's my number. Um, unsure what it was for. Anyway, um, first corner, uh, I saw it straight in, did the drive-through, uh, and then just I looked ahead and I could see uh, Damien and Jason. I thought, well, can't be too many laps left, so I, uh, yeah, had a bit of a crack. Well, you were certainly very lucky. Within hundredths of a second of, uh, of uh, Damien Milano taking a win, so it was a very tight race there. Yeah, absolutely. It, uh, and it's such an enjoyable race. I mean, I, I hope you know, Damien and Jason you know, enjoyed it as much as I did because uh, yeah, it was great to be out there. Look, it was all clean, we're fast, we're close, but we were clean. 
Mate, well, the car's obviously running really well on song. Uh, worked well for you this weekend. Uh, well done, mate. Yeah, looked uh, a bit of a gamble with that diff ratio uh, early in the weekend, and that was only through laziness that it stayed in there. But as it turned out, it, it, it was a good choice. Well, congratulations on the, the uh, round win, mate, and we look forward to seeing you at the next one. Thanks very much. I'll be there. Yeah, look, and uh, our thoughts go out to uh, Kelvin. Obviously, you know, you've had an extremely tough battle for not only months but years, and, uh, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with you. And We'll